Three months on the road, three months of constant trial. But after Yamantau, we are ready for anything fate can throw at us. Mere kilometers separate us from the Caspian One communication center. Will the maps within yield a spot free from radiation where we could finally settle in peace? I don't know. But what's left for us but hope? The desert is taking its toll. The crew suffers from heat and thirst and the Aurora is not in her top form. We're out of coal and had to switch to burning available fuel. Old cross ties and twigs. I'm not in love with this place. Nothing but sand and heat. I feel like shit here. I don't like this welcome either. Let's go. They stopped in that village there. Looks like somebody lives there. I see. How are the men doing, Demir? Stepan is the worst off. The others are not so well either. Only us here are still in fighting shape. <sighs> Thank you. Ada, you and Demir reconnoiter the area. We need to find the damn bunker and hit the road as soon as we do. We might have a slight problem with hitting the road, Colonel. And there's barely enough water in the boiler to make some tea. And we're all out of coal. Uh, I see. We'll need to address that, too. Anna, Damir, one more task. Look for water and fuel. Well do. Get the men ready. We need to set up defenses. Roger that. See you soon. Just try to be careful, all right? Artyom. We have to learn who those men with the car are. They do look like regular bandits, but we can't take risks here. The car was headed for the village. Looks like they have a comms relay there, and it should hold some info, which is just what we need now. Move out as soon as you're ready. Crest, can your rail car pull the train? It might, but really slowly and not for too long. The engine is too weak for the weight and... We, we don't have much diesel left. Well, if we had enough diesel, the Aurora wouldn't be needing any help. How so? Its firebox was originally designed for taking coal, but it also has high-temperature lining and liquid fuel jets installed. Why didn't you say so before? Because you never asked. Is the injection system in working order? I would need to check it. Well, take rest and run the checks. Oh, yeah, we'll take care of it, Chick Chuck, no problem. But uh, that ain't giving us no diesel. Hmm. Judging how the locals drive around, it will be much easier to get our hands on diesel than coal around here. Uh, what about the water? Can't run without it, but our tanks are dry. Let's handle problems in the order of their appearance. All right, let's go check those fuel sprinklers now. I bet they all need cleaning or something. Let's go. Hi, Artyom. All clear. Artyom, I've got something for you. Clear!
So, how'd you find the premises, idiot? Looks like it used to house a ticket office. Are you going out? Look here, then. This is something I finished just now. Ah, hollowed out a couple of Tihar bullets and filled them with explosive. Some explosive ammo right there. Now, you can do it yourself. It's quite simple. Don't forget to clean your guns regularly, with all the sand around. Artyom! <coughs> Wait, I'm coming with you. I think I could use a little walk right now. Stopa, you can hardly walk. You'd better rest while it's not your shift. Well, Artyom, I really do feel kinda under the weather now. Maybe next time. You're right. Artyom and Demir are going out for a simple recon, not a fight. And what if they get attacked? Then they'll retreat back to base where you and Sam cover them. So you should rest now. Yes. You're right, Katya.
You made a mistake coming here. I surrender! Yourself out? No? Come out then! <laughs> so, there's probably no chance to have a chat with the owners of this car. What a shame they're so silent. No, had I had a car like this, I wouldn't want to give it up either. <laughs> in my book, driving beats walking in this heat any day. <laughs> Which reminds me, you've got a good test drive opportunity. <laughs> While you were playing in this sandbox, I found some antennas. And the communication center should have them. Uh, uh, I think it's at that lighthouse, so you should head there. 
The lighthouse is so huge, we can't miss it. I have to stay and keep tabs on the area for a while, but once I'm done, I might join you there. See ya!
Nobody's business. Plus, all the traps seem sprung already, anyways. What's that? Thank you. 
if only one of us remains, we'll still get you. Both stand around, move! Charge! Put pressure on her! That bitch, she killed our boys like it's nothing, but doesn't kill the slaves. What did you expect? She just said of them. Are you a crazy? <laughs> dog! Uh, you all need those words! Give me cover! I'll smoke her out of her hole! We'll see about that! Come here now! Yes, come here! for that. Baron is Baron that. You only talk about the Baron. Why is the Baron not here? I think the Baron is too clever to come here himself. So he sent you, the stupid pigs, to die here. And you all came here to die, like stupid pigs. The Baron... Shit! Who the fuck are you? Fight the bullet! Ha! I, I have you. help now! We'll kill you all any moment now! You shitten! You killed that dog well! Are you Artyom? Come in. Whoever kills the Munai by Lair is my friend. The Munai by Lair, as we call them, turned my people into slaves. Wanted to put me in shackles too. <laughs> Better death. And clear. Your man helped me. I mean you're dead, but why are you here? For five years, nobody would come here safe for Moon Eye by Lair. Hmm. What do you know the antennas near your lighthouse? There used to be a comm center before the war. My mother worked there. She was an officer. The facility is long abandoned. I went there after war to look for mom's traces, but found nothing. Abandoned? We helped you, so could you help us in return by leaving our man inside? Good. I will help. Artyom, you have to find the archive. We should be near. 
near the command center. Look for shots taken after the war, starting with the year 2013. The Nier will soon be there. You can count on him. Miller, over and out. If we go, we'd better go now, before more of them arrive. Use the workbench if you need to fix something. There are all kinds of danger. A smart man wouldn't go there. You seem smart, but you do not have choice. Ready? No? Make haste then, we don't have much time. Before war, this place was beautiful. See, I was five then. My mom was young, alive. Now it's just desert. All the beasts changed into freaks. And the people became beasts. My people became chattel. Not by themselves. The oil dogs made them. The oil stayed even though the sea dried out. Old people died. Only the young remained. And they all obey their masters now. The Munai Bailer say they're gods of fire now. And the young believe. Five years after the war, my mother died. I was all alone. Take the left turn. There's a narrow passage there. I'll stay here. Someone must keep the power going. If you see monsters. 
picture. Bring it. I'll be thankful to you as long as I live. Failure. 
Prepare individual equipment and remain at your stations. Await for further instructions. <laughs> Did you hear that, Artyom? Stepiane, we're up a shit creek without a pedal. The cracks on the lower level that last earthquake opened are now seeping gas, and that gas is toxic if I know anything. The ventilation is so far keeping it at bay, but what if the power shuts off again? Or we get another tremor and the cracks open wider? I told the chief, but he's just pulling his usual sit on your ass in your office, drink and twiddle your thumbs trick. Yeah, oh, don't panic and strictly observe Directive 01 like a broken record. I don't even know what to do anymore.
just finished moving into the old lighthouse. Staying with Kuhl in that hall any longer is out of question. New gas geysers keep sprouting daily. The whole bunker could collapse any moment now. There's nothing to hope for. Nobody knows why we are even here anymore. We certainly can't do any work. I only go down there for the pittance that passes for rations nowadays. I'd like to believe that it's safer on the surface, but who am I trying to fool? The people are famished. Every day brings news of new attacks and murders, ever more violent. All my thoughts are with Kuo now. I can't believe this nightmare is the world she's going to live in from now on. Now, when we finally have the data on all of the largest city agglomerations, it is obvious that our hopes to find one that had somehow been spared attack were unfounded. Moscow was apparently a special part. The new data confirms that fallout makes it completely impossible to live there. Only Novosibirsk might be marginally worse, where- Mommy, look at what they drew! Oh, <laughs> who is this? It's me, I drew this. That's a great picture. Senior researcher Kakimova, please take the child outside. This is a briefing after all. Come, Kyo. You can't come in here. Come. Show me the picture outside. While we're waiting, I suggest we take a look at the enemy territory. Here and here. This is, obviously, city lights. If not for Directive 01, if we had any means of communication, we'd have to report the coordinates immediately as a target for the follow-up strikes.
Killing the lights now. Those lights back on. The lift did its job. the maps, so we have to take them back to the colonel. By the way, I, I brought your car. It's at the door. It's amazing the lift still works with all the cracks in the bunker. Mother told me they had to repair many times, and other things too. me. Thank you, Artyom. This is for you. Father gave it to me when I was little. Damir says there's a little girl on your train. Give it to her. May it bring her luck. You people are lucky. Most of the Monai Baile are raiding all their best troops. If they were all here, you'd be dead already. But now, we have a chance to change things. Ah, uh, Munai Bailer translates to something like oil-rich people. Oil drillers, I guess. Listen to me. I'll tell you where to go now. When outside, go right. The road there used to lead to the sea, to port. Anna should be around there. Contact her. She probably found something interesting. <laughs> I'll stay and try to find out more about these oil drillers. We'll contact the base as soon as I get any useful information. Tell me, Gul, how did this Baron come to power here? My people chose their fate themselves. What? Become slaves of their own will? Yes, they did. 
The Moon Knight by Lair told them they'd protect in exchange for their work, and they agreed. The Moon Knight by Lair told them to worship the Holy Flame, and they agreed again. Hmm, <laughs> well, they did not have much choice then. They had a choice. To fight. To fight and die, but not be slaves. Not everybody is ready for that. One must be ready. I'm always ready. And that is why you fight alone. Ha! <laughs> Even alone, I can get the Baron. Suppose you do get him. What next? I'll think of what to do once the Baron lies dead. Makes sense, I guess. You go, Artyom. Good luck to you. You should go, Artyom. We'll talk later. Well, see ya, Artyom. Good luck. Goodbye, Artyom. have such luxury back in Moscow. Still, this place is too hot. I feel I'm coming down soon, like Stefan. In any case, here's what I learned. See that crane at the dock? There is someone in the cabin. Can't see him that well, but I think he noticed me as soon as I arrived. That seems like a great spot to keep tabs on our base, so you should check it out. Look at that cracked ship now. The largest one, closest to the water. See? Well, it's not cracked, but rather carefully dismantled. I saw trucks carrying cages arrive at that boat. Looks like this is where the bandits keep their prisoners. There's that building over there, past the port. Looks like an air control tower, but I'm not sure. In any case, there should be a lot of equipment there. Something might come in handy. I see you got the maps. You and Amir did a great job there. <coughs> ah. 
I'll keep watching the rigs, and you can choose your next goal. Damn, I wish I could wash off all this sand already. I hope we get out of this desert soon. If you're going to the port, there's a convenient zip line on the roof. Be careful out there, all right? Yeah, 
Come on! Come on, inside! Artyom, I have the mirror on the line here, so take a seat. I'll be with you soon. What, what a storm! Made of sand, no less. Ah, oh, damn the sand of hell. All right. Miller, over and out. You got them? Great job, Artyom. Great news! Artyom got the maps. Well done, Great. Artyom. That is such a relief. Idiot. Get started with these. I'll join you later. Here. There's a lot Ever of see. data. The sooner we analyze it, the better. We have the maps. Now we have to find a way out of this place. And that's the hard part. We need water for the Aurora and the crew, as you can see. Stepan, Duke, and Alyosha are done with dehydration already. We also need fuel. The local bandits have it all. I had already contacted their so-called Baron, but his terms proved to be... unacceptable. He'll told us where they get the water, but naturally, the well is guarded. The mirror reconned the place, and says we could infiltrate it stealthily. So, party, when you're ready, go rendezvous with Tamir. Your goal is to bring water to the Aurora. Failure is not an option. Good luck, Artyom. I... We are all counting on you. Crest, how's the weather? The storm seems to be over. I'll go back to the post. Perfect. Grand Bayermak, don't you have any water Artyom, left at all? come here. Uncle Artyom, is this for me? Wow, thank you! Look, Grandpa Yermak, I have my own canteen now. Artyom, while you were out, I finished making one more thing for the Tihar. The workbench is at your service. Wow, thank you! Mom! What have you got in you? What can I say? We clearly didn't come here in vain. Got it all figured out? Sure seems so. The radiation levels are plotted in color. Ha! They even have the radiation level dynamics here. When is it from? Hmm. Yeah, a bit old. Well, let's hope the situation didn't deteriorate since then. Which maps have we got? Central Asia, Western Siberia, the Urals, the European part of the country. You can go wild there. Our situation is critical. A few more days, and we won't be able to fight off a pack of wild dogs, much less the bandits. Hello, Artyom. Any news about the water? As you can see, I, I've been trying to condense some, but with no coolant, I got less than a liter out of it. I wish it would rain. But that's highly unlikely here.
What are the guys doing with the water? While you were away, I scouted it out. As, as you might suspect, we're approaching the spring through the back door. Kiel says lots of people used to... Uh, there was basically a real town. But then the geysers opened up and they all had to flee. Let's go! <gasps> well, the bridges are burnt now. Let's climb a bit higher to get a better look around. The cave isn't going anywhere. Wow, that's some noise. <sighs> yeah, this place is totaled. When setting out, I kind of had hopes of finding something about my people, if not my relatives. But now I find out. And it hurts. Steady, steady. Even if this town is empty, still. Thank you for dragging us out of Moscow, Artyom. At least I see this with my own eyes. Aha! Uh -huh. Right at the entrance. Get ready, Artyom. Charge the torch, check the filters, and other gear. I have this feeling, a vaguely unnerving one. Well, to hell with the feelings. <laughs> Here, let me give you a boost.
So, the war really did put people back into the Stone Age. Cave, paintings and all. Oh, how many people lived here? Everything is built up. Continue. Another cave in. Well, it's a crawl from here on. Gil says the locals follow every word the oilmen say. So, let's try to do it quietly. Without the unnecessary bloodshed. The slaves are innocent. Look, water. See that car? I'll move there and hide behind it. The gate is controlled from that tower. When you open it, I'll rush the car through and you leap atop the tank. Good luck. And try not to kill anyone but the oilmen, alright?
You get this? Yes, yes, Universa. Do everything. Do quick. Both happy, very happy. Well, you fucking get to it. I'll check out the woman. Guys, it's getting a bit hot. How is this now? You are the poor quick. I see. Well, <laughs> a very funny. Come over for a visit instead. Anyway, but I fool by them food. Who you? What do here, Betanis? Then you step the chosen. Dynastic, Meganiles, Menkaida Barip Belimin. Thank you, Betanis. Looks like Nazi comes back in Moscow, doesn't it? How's it going? All quiet. Those newcomers from the train ain't showing up either. Did the boys tell you anything about those? Nah, Saul and Glasses went after them with their car, but didn't come back. Well, there was that storm, too. So, these newcomers could be the real deal. Hey. Could have done them boys <laughs> in.
Well, we finally lost them. Well, at least we didn't hurt the slaves. <sighs> Looks like they aren't giving chase. Time to get back to the emperor. We showed them all right, didn't we? Yes, we did. The thing is, their army is in a massive raid now. And this is just... The Baron sending his regards. How many of them are there? 700, I think. Whoa. Yeah, we locked out here. And we'd better not overstay our welcome. We won't get far burning twigs. Five clicks at best. The dogs have fuel. Lots of it. A full tanker carriage on the rails. If we open gate quietly, we can steal it. There shouldn't have many guards now. 
Can you guide our men? I can. Let's get to business then. Yermak, Crest, you prepare the Aurora. Finish filling the boiler with water and drain the car's tanks. Artyom, Damir, you get the most important part. Stealing that tank. Yes, sir. Good luck, gentlemen. Anna, idiot, Tokarev, we're breaking camp, people. <laughs> Hi, our hero! <laughs> Hi, Artyom! Well, it's all gonna be okay now. We can't lose now that we have water. You guys did great! Artyom, watch out while on the mission. We'll be praying for you. Oh, come on. It's Artyom we're talking about. He's made a deal. Get away from the wall. Listen up, everyone. The Baron, fuck off, dumbass. All right. Everyone in second reserve. Assemble at the ring. way I'm getting
shit fall on us? Style. Nah, it won't. As long as no dumb son of a bitch decides to touch anything. Pass me that 16 mil spam. Damn, right. What the hell? What the fuck is it? Ah, oh, fuck! It left in there! Well, I guess you'll have to go and fetch it then. Ah, sure. It's my fault. I... Fuck. This fucking heat. Sure the bastards nice. hardly move and we will be held responsible for not training them well. Right about now. <laughs> so, you think yeah. the payout this time will be worse than last year's? Huh? What is that noise? We're not going to get five tons of water for the whole lot. Fucking shit. So Sido is gonna come back to a brewing storm? Eh, uh, we're fucked, I say. Why even bother? True. Should've gone <laughs> in with the boy. Uh, well, there was a real chance to make it big. Now this. Yeah, this sucks. Shit, why did I have to get so fucking wasted? It was fucking killing me. Didn't he like about this place? This seems all right. Well, the guy just doesn't know what he's talking about. Are you going out for a parade or something? <laughs> parade? Fuck you! Who says we all have to be ready for anything? Well, am I getting my fucking food tonight Get or no? Get me on the train or something. Yes, mister. Ah, One yeah, moment, mister. Hell, you like about? Just Tell me where did you well, get all the time. I've been smoking here for ages yes, now. Move your ass. What are you talking about? Check the rig boys yes, out. Yes, yes, you're in the yes, mister. Sweat. Okay, okay. Look, you know don't that. be so tense. Tell me, what did that guy from the rig want from you? Well, what do you fucking expect? Says we're not doing a good job teaching this place. Half of them drunk in there. Same shit at the well. So he's cutting our water and diesel supply by half. Why the fuck do I get to stick around here? As if anyone need me to.
fuck are we still here? Has the boss got nothing better to do? Damn. Kill what? that? What could that be? I thought, heard that one. No, no shit. As if there would ever be anything there. Get back home now and have a good drink. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you one thing, you fucker. You ain't getting away. That's we like are for sure. making you our bitch, you motherfucker. Bet my too. Find a rope to fucking hang yourself with, you bitch, because you ain't got much time. We ain't gonna find them, people! You do I think there's some bitch up there. Hey, people! This bitch is hiding in here! We have to find him now, because he's one stinky fucker and could get away for good! Huh? What the fuck's that? In that pass? Shit! He's dead! Well, bitch, stop clutching your ass! I like it, right that I'm getting you soon! <laughs> Fuck 
You just keep calm and don't shoot, man. I sort
What do they get? Fly to the hungry egg. A bunch of sickly kids and a death in a demon's stomach. That's it. I get the purpose. They work. They serve. They build. They build a civilization. And you... You want to destroy it, you motherfucker. Destroy my civilization. Artyom, we took a look around. The main gate is guarded by a skeleton crew. You cannot go through gate. Go through the prison cellar where the Munai Bailera keep the slaves. Uh, <laughs> yes. In any case, the plan is this. Gul and I will try to take their guards down quietly and get in through the gate. If quiet does not work out, we will at least distract them, while you get in through the underground. Let's go. We'll walk with you. Don't lag behind. I have a favor to ask. If possible, don't kill the slaves. They're not... They just obey. The Manai by Lair. Obey the Baron. They're afraid, that's all. Gul is right about the locals. Here. This place. They're just kids, and all have been under brainwashing for ages. <laughs> so we probably should take pity on them. So, a great? Well, let's do this. All right, I'll raise it and you get through. See you up there. Let's go, Damir. Last blood, Artyom. Please. No use. Nobody go, nobody fool. We stand here, all day here. You suck. Better go hunt, find some food, make slaves more use that way. You said right, completely. Very right. Fuck you! Get it! Fuck! 
for nothing. I have good news. Look, the tank is full. Just what we need. Uh, there is also bad news. The gate is locked and we can't take it out. Colonel, sir, Tamir here. We have secured the tank, but encountered uh, a problem with the day. Copy that. We're going with plan B then. Act accordingly. See, the cable connects the gate and the top of the tower. How do we get there, though? Oh, it looks like a veritable fortress. Gentlemen, surely you're not seriously intending to attack our fortress. I do respect your courage, but simply throwing your lives away is such a waste. Who is in charge between you two? Come up here. We have things to discuss. Just you listen to that bastard talk. A complete about-face. And we did throw a wretched into his plans big time. Put the gun down and come up. Otherwise we'll have a pointless bloodbath on our hands. Open the gate and let our guests in! You. Unless you really ask for it. Mm, I don't like this, yep, but it. there is no other way. If we don't get out of this desert, we're, we're as good as dead. What the fuck are you saying? Good if luck, I fucking you. hear one more word about south, that no. bitch girl. Well, I'll do it. Get over here. What's that to talk with them about? Go around them stinkers and just get to the next no, floor. There's too many of them to come. Oh, no, why the fuck does he take so long? You must be just you think You just take a deep You just fucking pussy. I'm saying that's the one. I knew slave was not me. Come on. What's taking so long? Yes, you fucking look at that. It's one of those new arrivals. Come to meet the boss here. Hey, pretty boy. Did you come from afar? Did you expect a different reception? <laughs> Alter your weapon. Here we can talk without the masks. I trust everyone present implicitly. You find it weird they're not really bothered by your little mischief. Well, you see, this world is a harsh and chaotic one. I'm just doing my best to introduce a little order into it. 
without which there is no hope for something better in the future. But with no hope, you can't live. But let us cut to the chase. You definitely did not come here to enjoy the scenery. Ergo, you have a goal. And that goal is probably far from here. I respect people with a purpose in life. So, I am ready to provide you with fuel for your journey. I'm not asking for much in return. Surrender gear to me. Bring her to me, and we all win. I have you. You will have your fuel. Everyone gets to live long and prosper. Now. has come for you. You will answer for everything. He locked it. From the other side, that coward! Do you think I am a fool? You didn't want a deal! Now you will all die! Starting with you, you! Kill them! Artyom, get ready. We must kill these dogs! It's up, boys! before that dog runs away. I'll catch him and open the door for you. Hold on. So, this is the plan Gyul was talking about. What the hell is going on there? Get out of there! I'll send people to cover your retreat! The door's giving! Now let's give it a shove, Artyom! You wanted to create a new world? 
With this? Not happening! Your misguided attempt! <laughs> I got her! Take the Baron! It's the strongest who survives! You gave my people hope. I'll never forget it. But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. Uh, let's go, Artyom. Thank you for helping my people. I'm in your debt forever. <laughs> You're back, my love. I was so worried. 